Hello everybody, my name is Elliot Yant, and I'm going to be talking to you today about the hippocampus and its role in neurogenesis and consolidating memory. First off, neurogenesis is simply the creation and development of neurons, and this is going to take place in both the hippocampus and the olfactory bulb, but we're just going to worry about the hippocampus today. This takes place in the subgranular zone of the hippocampus, specifically in the dentate gyrus, and that's important because the hippocampus is involved heavily in memory learning. While consolidating memory, changes in synaptic strength will constitute different results. So two processes that oppose each other are long-term potentiation and long-term depression. Long-term potentiation, uh, which we've learned about, is establishing and strengthening neural connections. Um, and that creates the ability to establish and keep memories that we've already formed. Uh, however, with long-term depression, long-term depression will degrade those neural connections that maybe aren't so useful to us or we haven't thought about in a while. And that what that does is it allows for new connections and new memories to be made. Where neurogenesis comes in on this is that long-term potentiation or keeping those memories um, does not allow very well for neurogenesis for those new neurons to be made. However, on the other hand, long-term depression will encourage neurogenesis. As we're getting rid of neural connections, we're making space for neurogenesis to take place. In this study, the researchers aimed to look at the effects of neurogenesis on both LTP and LTD, and that's ability in turn to allow us to learn and create new memories. And so in this study, they manipulated parts of the hippocampus in rats to determine how LTP, LTD, and subsequently memory and neurogenesis were, were affected. Rats were given the CFC, the contextual fear condition, uh, which is a useful test um, and a behavioral paradigm for analyzing hippocampal function. Um, that is because the hippocampus plays a crucial role in acquiring and retrieving neural representations of the context in which fear becomes conditioned. And so these rats were given these tests, but first they, there was damage applied to the hippocampus with IBO, which is ibotenic acid. They saturated with RHFS, which is repeated high-frequency tetanic stimulation, and that was to encourage and facilitate LTP, and they were tested a day after with the CFC. Uh, the second experiment was with the same group. It was taken 13 days after that to allow time for long-term depression or the decay of LTP, and then they were tested with that same CFC test. The results showed that when neurons were saturated with connections from the RFHS, its group took significantly longer to learn to complete a given task than the control group just one day after RFHS was administered. Uh, therefore, a saturation of hippocampal LTP impaired hippocampus dep dependent memory. That would make it more difficult to form new memories or for neurogenesis to occur. Um, the same group, the RFHS group, was then given 13 days to recover or to allow the, the, the decay of LTP, and that did not have a significant difference in the speed between them and the control group. So this showed that hippocampal memory capacity gradually recovered from saturation in parallel with the gradual decay of LTP. That's allowing uh, LTD um, to do its thing and for the possibility of neurogenesis to allow formation of new memories.